Okay, praise to Jesus. Praise to Jesus. I am very uh, honored and uh, blessed to be here tonight. Jako sam počašćen i blagoslovljen što sam ponovno ovdje večeras. I thank Father for the invitation and for the opportunity. Zahvaljujem Otcu Davoru na pozivu i na ovu prigodu. And also all my friends from Zagreb, from Botinek, from the Paris and the community that have supported me for so long. I zahvaljujem i mojim prijateljima iz Zagreba, cijeloj župi i cijeloj zajednici što su me toliko dugo podupirali. So tonight I'm invited to speak about the Eucharist and the spiritual battle. Večeras su me pozvali da govorim o Eukaristiji i duhovnom boju. And I'm going to start asking the Holy Spirit with for a word. I započet ću tako da ću zamoliti Duha Svetoga da nam da riječ. So that we can start in the spirit of the word. Da možemo započeti u duhu riječi Božje. I'm going to read to you from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Pročitat ću vam iz poslanice Titu, Svetoga Pavla. Chapter 2 from verse 1 on. Drugo poglavlje od prvog redka nadalje. I first read it in English and Joseph is going to read it in Croatian. Prvo ću pročitati na engleskom, onda će Joseph na hrvatskom. Live as responsible persons. Let your words strengthen sound doctrine. Tell the older men to be sober, serious, wise, sound in faith, love and perseverance. The older woman in like manner must behave as befits holy woman, not given to gossiping or drinking wine, but as good counselors, able to teach younger women to love their husbands and children, to be judicious and pure, to take care of their households, to be kind and submissive to their husbands, lest our faith be attacked. The word of the Lord. A ti uči što se slaže sa zdravom naukom, da starci budu trijezni, pošteni, razboriti, zdravi u vjeri, ljubavi i strpljivosti. Isto tako da se starice vladaju kako doliko je svetima, da ne kleveću, da se ne odaju mnogom vinu, nego da budu učiteljice dobra, da upućuju mlade žene, neka ljube svoje muževe i svoju djecu, da budu razborite, čiste, dobre kućanice, pokorne svojim muževima, da se ne bi grdila riječ Božja. We can see uh, in this reading that the Holy Spirit gave us u ovome čitanju koje nam je Duh Sveti dao možemo vidjeti something very important related to the Eucharist. Nešto jako bitno vezano za Eukaristiju. The integrity of the Christian family. Integritet kršćanske obitelji. For us to be those real Christians, da bi bili pravi kršćan, we need to have the bread of life. Moramo imati kruh života. We need Jesus in our hearts. Trebamo Isusa u našim srcima. So if we take the reality, the mystical reality of the Eucharist, ako uzmemo od tajstvenu stvarnost Eukaristije, from the very beginning, od samih početaka, we take it from the moment of the incarnation of Jesus. Dolazimo do trenutka utjelovljenja Isusa. The annunciation of the angel to Mary. Uh, uh, navještenja uh, anđela Gabriela Marije. Because Jesus is the Eucharist. Jer Isus jeste Eukaristija. And he came to become the bread of life. I on je došao da bi postao kruh života. So from day one, od prvog dana, as he was in the womb of Mary, od kako je bio u utrobi majke Marije, that bread of life was already gestating. Taj se kruh života već počeo formirati. And we see this incredible path of a spiritual battle from the beginning of the incarnation of Jesus. I već tada možemo vidjeti početak duhovne pitke 
koja se događa u utjelovljenju Isusa. The biggest biggest defeat to the devil najveći poraz žalu is the annunciation. Jest navještaj. Navještaj. Because he knew what he meant. Jer on je znao što to znači. He knew it was the end of death. Znao je da je to kraj smrti. The beginning of life. Početak života. For his prisoners. Za njegove zatočenike. So when we look at the Eucharist, kad gledamo u Eucharistiju, we have to understand something very vital. Moramo razumjeti nešto jako bitno. Eucharist is the gift of life. Eucharistija je dar života. And then we have the demons fighting life. I onda imamo demone koji se bore protiv života. Wanting to take away from us that bread. Želeći nam uzeti taj kruh od nas. They don't want us to eat it. Ne žele da ga jedemo. They don't want us to be fed with life. Ne žele da se hranimo because, iz tog života. Because they are dead. Jer su oni mrtvi. They are the kingdom of death. Oni su kraljevstvo smrti. So the Eucharist is the kingdom of life. Eukaristija je kraljevstvo života. And we can see the fight, the battle. I možemo vidjeti borbu. It's the devil fighting life. Džavo koji se bori protiv života. So it begins from the womb of the mother. Počinje u utrobi majice, majke. And so we can say that we as Catholics a možemo reći da smo mi kao katolici are the product of a big a huge a spiritual battle proizvod jedne velike duhovne bitke our life is constantly in a spiritual battle na život je u, kost, u konstantnoj duhovnoj bitci the devil doesn't want us to understand that we have been given the gift of life by god Džavao ne želi da shvatimo kako nam je Bog dao živ, dar života. He wants us to be completely engaged in death. Želi da smo potpuno sjedinjeni sa smrti. He wants us to be slaves of mortality. Želi da budemo uh, robovi smrtnosti. That's why when we are doing what we are doing tonight i kada radimo ono što ćemo večeras činiti and we are reflecting upon this mystery a to je razmišljanje o ovome otajstvu demons are really troubled demoni zaista dršu because if we do understand what the eucharist means in our lives jer ako shvatimo što je euharistija znači u našim životima we change this world promijenit ćemo ovaj svijet we change our lives mijenjamo naše živote we change the church mijenjamo crkvu because that is the power jer to je snaga the most amazing power najveća snaga but you see our nature na naša narav priroda is engaged in immortality je smrtna and it has a very big difficulty understanding life i jako joj je teško shvatiti život. Because we can see a body that is dying every day. Jer ono što vidimo je tijelo koji, koje svakoga dana odumira. We come out of the womb of our mother. Izlazimo iz utrobe naše majke. To begin dying. Da bi započeli sumiranje. Appears that we begin living. A, čini se kao da započinjemo sa životom. But no, we begin dying. Ali ne, započinjemo s odumiranjem. The flesh. Me, meso. So when we understand the transcendence of a spiritual life, kada razumijemo transcendentnost duhovnog života, and we know that we are actually going to be born when we die, i kada shvatimo da ćemo biti rođeni u onom trenutku kada umremo, then our mortality is no longer the sting of death. Onda sama naša smrtnost nije žalac te smrti. We begin to walk as immortal beings. Počinjemo razmišljati i hodati kao besmrtna bića. And this is what Jesus wants us to be. I to je ono što Isus želi da budemo. He teaches us. On nas uči. 
Look for the things that are above. Tražite ono što je od ozgo. And everything else will be added on to you. I sve ostalo će vam se nadodati. And that's what it means. I to je ono što misli. We have to rise above these bones and this flesh. Moramo nadići ovo meso i ove kosti. Yes, we are vessels of clay. Je, mi smo glinene posude. But vessels of clay that carry the treasure. Ali glinene posude koje u sebi imaju blago. And that treasure should be our strength. I to blago bi trebala biti naša snaga. But Satan doesn't want you to know that. Ali Satana ne želi da to znate. But we need to know that. Ali moramo to znati. We need to understand that we have the greatest gift ever. Moramo shvatiti da nam je darovan najveći dar ikada. The Eucharist. Eucharistija. And that's why it is so important. I zato je jako bitno to understand how vital it is to prepare well for communion. Shvatiti koliko je bitno pripremiti se jako dobro za pričast. It is a very serious commitment. To je jedna jako velika obaveza. It is the commitment with eternal life. To je obaveza i veza sa vječnim životom. Is the bread of life. Jer to je kruh života. And for us to approach the gift, i da bi mogli uopće pristupiti tome daru, we need to walk into the gift with the heart filled with love. Moramo pristupiti mu sa srcem punim ljubavi. Totally reconciled with Jesus. Potpuno pomireno sa Isusom. Completely convinced that we are going to enter the chamber of God. Potpuno uvjereni sa znanjem da ćemo ući u Božje odaje. And that is exactly who we need to be. I to je upravo, takvi upravo trebamo biti. Every time we approach the altar of the Lord to receive that bread. Svaki puta kada priđemo Božjem altaru da bi primili taj kruh. Our life ascends into the light. Naš se život uzdiže prema svijetu. It's one step more we take up. To je svaki korak, svaki puta je jedan korak bliže gore. Because when we are faithful to God, jer kada smo mi vjerni Bogu, We are ascending. Uzdižemo se. When we are not faithful, we are descending. Kada mu nismo vjerni, padamo. So the strength of the Eucharist, snaga Eukaristije, give us the power to walk up. Daje nam snagu da hodamo prema gore. Our soul is lifted. Naša duša je uzdignuta. And also, God can use us to rescue souls. I Bog nas može iskoristiti da spašavamo duše. Because we are eucharistic instruments of reparation. Jer mi smo eukaristijski instrumenti za dovoljštine. So you probably imagine how much of a nightmare we are to the devil. Možete zamisliti kolika smo noćna mora džavu. Because just by taking communion in grace, jer samo kada bi uzimali pričest sa Milošu u milosti, we take souls from the devil. Spašavamo duše od džavla. Jesus takes souls from the devil. Isus uzima i spašava te duše. And this should inspire us. I to bi nas trebalo nadaknuti, inspirirati. This should tell us who we are. Ovo bi nam trebalo progovoriti tko smo zapravo. And this should tell us what we need to do. I trebalo bi nam reći što nam je činiti. In order to be faithful and useful instruments of the Eucharist. Da bi bili vjerni i korisni instrumenti Eukaristije. But we have to know. Ali moramo znati. There is a battle in every communion. Ali postoji bitka za svaku pričest. There is a battle in the sacristy when the priest is wearing his liturgical garments. Bitka je u sakristi kada svećini koblači njegovo svoje liturgijsko ruho. There is a battle in the heart of that priest. Postoje bitka u srcu toga svećenika. There is a battle in the whole family of that priest. 
bitka je u cijeloj obitelji toga svećenika. There is a battle in the whole ancestors of the priest. Bitka je u svim njegovim uh, rođacima. And there is a battle in the whole parish. I bitka je u cijeloj župi. The devil is fighting against the whole parish. Đavo se bori protiv cijele župe. Is fighting even against the building, the paintings, the statues, is fighting against everything. Bori se i protiv zgrada, protiv slika, protiv kipova. You probably know that we are talked. Vjerojatno znate da su nam govorili that every single space of the temple of God da svaki komadić Božjeg hrama, Božje crkve has angels guarding them. Ima anđele koji ih čuvaju. There are angels guarding the statue of Saint Joseph. Postoje anđeli koji čuvaju kip Svetog Josipa. There are angels guarding this temple in every corner. Postoje anđeli koji u svakom kutu čuvaju ovaj hram. Why are they guarding it? Zašto bi ga čuvali? Because there are demons trying to put it down. Jer postoje demoni koji ga žele sramiti. Everything in the temple of God sve u Božjem hramu is tormenting demons je uznemirava demone because it represents life jer predstavlja život and they can't stand life a oni se ne mogu nositi sa životom mrze Be- because they are eternally dead jer su vječno mrtvi and they want us to be eternally dead i žele da i mi budemo vječno mrtvi so life torments them i život ih uznemirava and when they look at us i kada gledaju u nas, all they want is us to be dead. Sve što žele je da budemo mrtvi. So the look of Satan towards us, so tonin pogled prema nama, is the look of death. Je pogled smrti. But the look of God, ali Božji pogled, is the look of life. Je pogled života. And that's why when we come towards the Eucharist, i zato kada prilazimo pričesti, we are entering the kingdom. Ulazimo u kraljevstvo. We are entering life. Ulazimo u život. And we are protecting ourselves from death. I štitimo sami sebe od smrti. And I'm not talking about physical death. I ne govorimo o fizičkoj smrti, tjelesnoj. I'm talking about a spiritual death. Govorimo o duhovnom. Because that's what the devil wants. Jer to je ono što džavo želi. He can care less about your body, your physical body. Njega je najmanje briga za naše pravo, fizičko tijelo. He wants your soul. On želi vaše duše. That's what he wants. To je ono što želi. And the Eucharist feeds the soul. A Eukaristija hrani dušu. If we take the Eucharist to the last supper, ako uzmemo Eukaristiju posljednje večere, and we can see how Jesus had done his walk already of his public life. Možemo vidjeti kako je Isus već prošao njegov javni život, javni put. And he is ready to serve on the altar. I spreman je služiti pri oltaru. That bread, taj kruh, that now can be served. Sada može biti poslužen. And Satan is going mad. I Satan ludi. And then at that moment of the last supper, u tom trenutku posljednje večere, the first ones to receive physical communion. Prva osoba koja je primila Eucharistiju are the apostles su apostoli prve but, osobe but there is something here that we have to know ali ovdje je nešto što moramo znati Judas Iscariot Juda Iskariotski he represents the kingdom of death on predstavlja kraljevstvo smrti he represents the traitor predstavlja izdajicu he represents the bad wheat on predstavlja loše uh, korov So we have to know what happens there. I moramo znati što se tamo događa. Jesus gives some communion. Isus mu daje pričest. And the word tells us. I riječ nam kaže. And Satan enter in him. I Satana uđe u. He took communion in mortal sin. Uzeo je, primio je pričest u smrtnom grijehu. He was carrying death with him. Nosio je smrt u sebi. And he took life. Život. So if you see these two battles there, vidite li ove dvije bitke? Is the devil embracing life? Džavo koji uhvati život to destroy it. Da bi ga uništio. And that's why Jesus gets crucified. 
I zato je Isus razopet. So Judas ate Jesus crucifixion. I Juda je uzeo i pojeo Isusova raspeća. But he forgot about resurrection. Ali je zaboravio na uskrsnuće. He forgot that Jesus ate that that Judas ate the life. Juda je zaboravio da je uzeo život. So that Jesus could resurrect. Da bi Isus može, mogao uskrsnuti. And this is an amazing battle. I ovo je jedna nevjerojatna bitka. Because the word tells us. Jer nam riječ kaže. And Satan entered in Judas. Sotona uđe u Judu. He was after the Eucharist. Želio je Eucharistiju. And, G- and Satan knew he was losing. I Sotona je znao da gubi u tome trebu. But he didn't care. Ali nije mu bilo bitno. One thing we have to know about Satan. Jedna stvar koju moramo znati o Sotoni. He is 100% evil. On je 100% zlo. You will never find a demon that is 80% evil. Nikad nećete naći demona koji je 80% za. Demons are 100% evil. Demoni su 100% potpuno zlo. So how do we fight 100% evil? Kako se borimo protiv potpunog zla? Only with 100% good. Samo sa onime što je 100% dobro. And how can we do it if we are imperfect and mortal? A kako možemo to ako smo sami nesavršeni i smrtni? We don't have 100%. Mi nemamo 100%. But Jesus is completeness. Ali Isus je ono što nas upotpunio. He came to complete what we are lacking. On je došao da upotpuni ono što nama fali. So he left us the Eucharist. Zato nam je ostavio Eucharistiju. And this, the Eucharist will give us what we are lacking. I Eucharistija će nam dati ono što nam nedostaje. And the Eucharist will make us 100%. I Eucharistija će nas napraviti 100%-tnima. If we are faithful, ako smo vjerni, if we prepare, ako se pripremimo, if we understand what is it to be in grace with God, ako razumijemo što znači biti u milosti s Bogom. To be in grace with God is not just to go to confession. Biti u milosti s Bogom nije samo otići na ispovijed. To be in grace with God is to commit to renounce to sin. Biti u milosti s Bogom je odlučiti uh, odreći se grijeha. To rather die than sin again. Radije umrijeti nego ponovno zgriješiti. To radically commit radikalno se opredijeliti to renounce to sin i odreći se grijeha. That is to be in grace. To znači biti u milosti. If you come to communion after doing that ako dođete na pričest nakon toga you are 100% vi ste onda 100% dobro. And demons flee i demoni bježe. And that is the battle. I to je bitka. We have the weapons. Mi imamo oružje. God has given them to us. Bog nam ih je dao. And they are here on the altar. I oni su ovdje na oltaru. And that's why Saint Paul teaches us. Zato nas Sveti Pavao uči. Don't dare to come before the altar of the Lord. Nemojte, nemojte se usuditi doći pred Božji oltar. If you are not prepared. Ako niste pripremljeni. Because you will eat your own condemnation. Jer ćete sami jesti svoju osudu. That's how radical it is. Tako je radikalno. So we have to grow into this mystery. I moramo sazrijevati u ovomu tajstvu. And we have to understand that it's real. I moramo shvatiti da je stvarno. Very easily we can get caught up with religion. Jako lako se možemo zaraziti religijom. And we can turn our religion into another thing we do. I religija nam može postati samo još jedna stvar koju činimo. And that is very dangerous. To je jako opasno. That's what the devil wants you to be like. To je ono što džavo zavaželi. Just a plain religious person. Samo jednostavni religiozni ljudi. That comes to church to feel good. Koji dolaze u crku da bi se dobro osjećali. Goes to confession to give a shower to your conscience. <laughs> Idu na ispovijed samo kako bi oprali svoju savjest. And then go out to the world. I onda idu u svijet. To be the same before you came. Da bi bili isti onakvi kakvi su prije bili. That is being plain religious. To je 
religious. Biti samo religiozan. Living a double life. Živjeti dvostupnim životom. But the Eucharist ali Eucharistija is about one life. Je samo jedan život. Not a double life. Ne dvostruki. One life in Christ. Jedan život u Kristu. 24 hours a day. 24 sata dnevno. Of God. S Bogom. 24 hours a day of God. 24 dana, 24 sata dnevno s Bogom. If we are not, ako nismo, then we are not in union with life. Onda nismo u zajedništvu sa životom. If we want to be alive in Christ, ako želimo biti živi u Kristu, we have to truly crucify ourselves with him. Moramo se u potpunosti razapeti s njime. And stay on the cross. I ostati na tom križu. No matter what. Bez obzira. Because this life is going to tell us come down from the cross. Jer ovaj će nam život govoriti siđi s križa. You remember the rabbi, rabbis when Jesus was on the cross. Sjećate se onih rabina i pismazanaca kad je Isus bio na križu. They will tell him you save everybody come down from the cross. Govorili bi mu ti si sve druge spasio siđi s križa. And that's what the world is going to tell us. I to će nam svijet govoriti. Come down from the cross. Siđi s križa. When we have problems when things are difficult kad imamo probleme, kad stvari ne idu lako. When our life is threatened. Kad nam je život u opasnosti. When things are not good. Kada stvari nisu dobre. Then life screams at us, come down from the cross. Život viče na nas, siđi s križa. But we should never come down from the cross. Ali nikad ne bi trebali siđi. No matter what. Bez obzira na sve. This life is but an instant in eternity. Ovaj život je samo jedna iskra u vječnosti. And it's going to come to pass very soon. I vrlo brzo će proći. And we should be prepared. I trebamo biti pripremljeni. And we should understand the amazing gift of the Eucharist. I trebali bi shvatiti nevjerojatne dare Eucharistije. We should desire it so much. Trebali bi čeznuti za njime toliko. We should be so hungry for it. Trebali bi biti toliko gladni za njim. Because that hunger is what feeds us. Jer ta glad je ono što nas hrani. You know, you need to be hungry of the Eucharist. Morate biti gladni u Karistiji. Because being hungry of the Eucharist is being hungry of life. Jer biti gladni za Eucharistijom je biti, znači biti gladan za životom. And you know these bones and this flesh are dying. A znate da ovo tijelo, ove kosti, ovo meso umire. So we need to go towards life. I znači da moramo ići prema životu. We need to go towards resurrection. Moramo ići prema uskrsnuću. And we need to be hungry of it. I moramo biti gladni za njim. Hungry of life. Gladni za životom. And that's what the Eucharist is. I to je Eukaristija. Life. The život. The bread of life. Krug života. We have to see it that way. We have to feel it that way. Moramo na, to na, moramo na taj način gledati i osjećati. We, we have to understand it that way. Moramo svačati tako. You are a people that have a very tough history of battles. Vi ste uh, župa i ljudi koji imate uh, jako tešku povijest bitaka. Centuries of battles. Stoljeća bitaka. A people that have suffered. Stoljeća ljudi koji su patili. That knows pain koji poznaju bol and understand peace i razumiju što je mir because you have missed it many times jer vam je puno puta nedostaje and only those that have lost something know the value i samo oni koji su nešto izgubili znaju cijeniti vrijednost toga but the reason why god has allowed such a purification to you people i jedini razlog zašto je bog dozvolio takvo čišćenje is is because he wants to make a holy people out of you. Je zato što vas želi učiniti svetima, želi od vas učiniti svece. So much blood that you have on the ground of you martyrs. Toliko krvi mučenika na ovoj zemlji. And that blood is crying for justice. I ta krv vapi za pravdu. But not human justice. Ali ne ljudsko. Justice of the people of God pravdom božih ljudi which means that blood wants you to be holy 
To znači da ta krv želi da budete sveti. If you want to know what the martyrs of this land want from you, ako želite znati što mučenici od vas traže, they want you to be holy. Žele da budete sveti. That's what they want from you. To žele od vas. They don't want you to take revenge of their deaths. Ne žele da se osvećujete za njihovu smrt. Because they are in heaven. Jer oni su u raju. They don't care about this earth. Njih nije briga za ovu zemlju. But they care about your souls. Ali brinu za vaše duše. And they want you to make it home. I žele da dođete doma. And to make it home, you have to be holy. A da bi došli doma, morate biti sveti. So that blood that is here on this ground, i ta krv koja je na ovoj zemlji, is part of your strength. Je ono što vam daje snagu. So may God bless you people. Neka vas gospodin blagoslovi. And may God give you the strength. Ni neka vam da snage. To be brave enough. Da bi bili dovoljno hrabri. To dare to be holy. Da se usudite biti sveti. To dare to be prepared to take this bread of life. Da se usudite biti spremni uzeti kruh života. And to understand that there is an enemy. I da shvatite da postoji neprijatelj. That doesn't want you to take communion. Koji ne želi da primate pričast. And doesn't want you to take communion in grace. I koji ne želi da uzimate pričast u milosti. So make sure you understand how important it is to confess, perfectly confess. Razumite koliko je bitno biti ispovjeđen i pravilno ispovjeđen. To understand true contrition. Da bi razumijeli... Contrition is repentance. Da bi razumijeli pravo pokajanje. It is so vital. Toliko je bitno. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit again to give us a word ponovno ću zamoliti Duha Svetog da nam da riječ to give a closing to this da bi zaključio and I'm going to read from Romans 2 from verse 12 on i čitat ću iz poslanice Rimljanima od 12. reta pa nadalje everyone is judged by his conscience those who without knowing the law commit the sin will perish without the law. And whoever committed sin knowing the law will be judged by the law. What makes us righteous before God is not hearing the law, but obeying it. When the non-Jews who do not have law practice naturally what the law commands, they are giving themselves a law showing that the commandments of the law are engraved in their minds. Their conscience, speaking within them, also shows it when they condemn or approve their actions. The same is to happen on the day when God, according to my gospel, will judge people's secret actions in the person of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Drugo poglavlje poslanica Rimljanima, 12 do 16. U istinu, svi koji budu sagriješili bez zakona, bez zakona će i propasti. A svi koji budu pod zakonom sagriješili, po zakonu će biti suđeni. Nisu naime pred Bogom pravedni oni koji slušaju zakon, neko će oni biti priznati pravednima koji vrše zakon. Jer kad pogani koji nemaju zakona vrše, vođenim naravu propise zakona, onda su oni, nemajući zakona, sami sebi zakon. Oni činom dokazuju da ono što propisuje zakon stoji upisano u njihovim srcima, o čemu zajedno s tim daje svidočanstvo njihova savjest, nutarnji sudovi koji ih međusobno obtužuju ili branju. U dan u koji će Bog prema mojem evanđelju, suditi ljudske tajne po Isusu Hristu. So we thank God because He's given us the opportunity to be here tonight. I zahvaljujemo Bogu što nam je dao mogućnost da budemo ovdje večeras. And He's given us another bread of life. I što nam daje novi kruh života. 
He's given us the opportunity to go one step up. Daje nam mogućnost da idemo još jedan korak prema gore. And this is a wonderful gift. I to je prekrasan dar. Amen. Amen.